Smoke continues to rise into the sky above downtown Musha as our firefighters deal with the aftermath of last night's High Street fire. The Jubilee block at the corner of 1st and High Street West was destroyed. Ron DeRoche and his wife Della own the building. They were devastated when they got the news. Well, we got a phone call about 10.20. We got here about 10.30. We were more interested if all the uh, tenants upstairs got out. Apparently everybody got out, everybody was safe, so the building itself is replaceable in time, I guess. God bless everybody got out. Other than the building, a lot of history went up in flames last night. Ron says there were generations of family photos inside Suter's studio that can never be replaced. Firefighters believe the blaze started in Cargano's restaurant and spread to the rest of the building, but they were able to stop it at Suter's, saving businesses to the east. However, the rest of the zero block did suffer some smoke and water damage. While there is a lot of heartache today after the fire on High Street, there was a moment of joy this morning. Firefighters were going through the rubble looking for hot spots when they took the time to try and make one person's day a little brighter. Dina Hubbard was watching the walls get pushed in, allowing firefighters to gain access. Her parents own Vintage Vibe, a store destroyed by the fire and known for the colourful mannequins in the front window. I asked them, since the mannequins were still standing out of everything, if they could please go in and get some mannequins because she just brought two little boys and that greeted everybody at the store and they brought them. Several mannequins, a rocking horse in the shape of a rooster and some vintage hats were pulled from the burnt out building just minutes before the ceiling caved in, burying the spot where the mannequins were standing. For discovermushjaw.com, I'm Chris Rasmussen.